Okay, today I'm doing a video on something I've been looking forward to for quite some time. This is the 12-inch uh, version of a uh, Serwin, the original Serwin Vegas Strokers. Um, I say original, this is original car audio model. Um, these had been around for maybe over a decade in the um, uh, pro and uh, home audio market previous to being a... Um, a car audio and I don't believe there's a lot of difference between them other than maybe this sticker um, I'm starting this sub um, this video out on the back because the front is where this thing gets um, really weird and really cool at the same time um, it's it's there's nothing like a Serum Vegas Stroker um, anybody who's uh, witnessed them heard them uh, used them um, they can tell you this is you know these are a you know a model onto themselves there's nothing there's nothing quite like them um i don't know why they really got away from this design the the company that serum vega is now is really not the same company that made these but um they've actually brought back the stroker they've, they've had a stroker model um i think pretty much almost continuously since the early mid 90s um but uh i, I believe these ended late 90s and the, the ones, the other ones really didn't have much to do with this model. Um, uh, let's see, let's take a look. Notable features, massive, beefy cast aluminum, I believe, basket. Um, which, I, I, and I'm saying that, it's just, this thing feels so heavy, it's hard to believe that this is cast aluminum. But I think the, the uh, it being heavy is due to its motor. Um, which is only a single slug, but it is a massive one. Um, they're not vented, which is not surprising, being of the, the, the uh, age of the original design. Um, vented pole pieces, that was a, um, you know, that was a technology that was kind of added later. Not to say that, I, you know, that because there's so many drivers out there from so many different companies, especially in the um, home audio market, that, you know, there could have been vented pole pieces, you know, well before this, uh, but I don't, I generally, you wouldn't see them, um, that I, the models of, uh, um, cabinets that I've used when you pull out, uh, the, uh, sub driver, they're usually not vented. Um, but I, I would suspect that this voice coil is aluminum. Cause that was kind of one of Sarah one Vegas trademarks was, uh, aluminum cast aluminum basket. Um, aluminum voice coil um and then high very very high efficiency very high efficiency um that was just kind that was just what these were known for um uh serum vega in general their cabinets are extremely efficient so you could get a lot a lot of a lot of sound out without having a massive amplifier or receiver and their car audio was no um no exception to that. Um, the Serwin Vega uh, Stealth Series subs, um, some of those had, I, I believe the 15 had a 102 dB sensitivity rating, which, I mean, today is, it would be insane. I mean, it, you, you know, if you think if everything doubles at 3 dB, um, a lot of these massive subs you see today are running mid to at most high 80s, maybe an 18 cracking 90 generally not usually 87 is about as high as i see nowadays um but uh but even for their time uh the stroker was an extremely high efficiency driver um as well as uh their other series i'm trying to think of what they their their, their trademark like orange surround um subs i i can't i can't really off the top of my head think of i had a pair of 10s um back back in the day um and i can't i can't remember the model number of those but they uh they those were super efficient and then they had a that was a foam surround and then they had the uh stealths which had a they had a black foam surround um and then they had these strokers um later they had the uh i don't know they they had a different dust cap they had the they said vega like horizontally on them um those had a those had a fabric like like this uh, surround and we'll take a look at that um you can see there's a spider on the landing and the landing is just the aluminum it's it's right on the aluminum cast basket and then here's the front of it and here's where it gets to be you know a different beast um second spider 
that is adjustable. You can see right there, there's a, um, if I can get a good picture of it, there's a socket set screw right there. And this can, you can move this up and down, putting more or less pressure on the um, spider, tightening it up, and it will um, optimize it for um, different uh, frequencies that you um, a head optimized built your enclosure to. These prefer a, I believe there's dimensions for a sealed enclosure, but from all accounts, uh, you'd want to run these in a, uh, um, a ported enclosure and you get a, a heck of a lot of output. These things were extremely feared back in the, uh, the uh, 90s for um, SPL competitions. But because they were known as SPL monsters, a lot, you'll hear a lot of talk about how these are horrible sounding drivers. Uh, I've never heard a pair of these run that sounded horrible. They, they are, they are extremely accurate, um, subwoofers in my opinion. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I guess generally the stuff I own, I, I say that about most things I review, but that's because I bought all the things that sound really good to me. <laughs> so, um, but just in general, um, Subs from the 90s were efficient, and I talked about in the XPL video, um, I believe efficiency lends itself to an accurate driver. So um, you can see the fabric surround. I really wish they did this more. Um, this will last for a very, very long time. Other components in this will break down before this surround well. The, the fabric, they take a dope, they put it on there. It's like a tar that, that um, acoustically seals from the back to the front which you have to do on any driver. Um, and uh, they just last a very, long, a very, very long time. Uh, and then you'll generally see with fabric um, a, a double roll uh, most times. Um, and then, you know, just this, you know, it's, I don't know, just the way these look, they, they're just really, 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 they're, they're kind of crazy looking. People are like, what the heck is that? But they, they're, they're really sharp looking. Um, I don't know. I've, when I've heard them, they, they're loud, um, but they're not obnoxious. Um, they just, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but yeah, and, and unfortunately, I, you know, I, I do want to do a video on this. Uh, I do have to build an enclosure first, but then again, it's, I can't really, you can't convey over YouTube the sound of, uh, subs, you know, they always just sound, sound, you know, pretty bad. Um, unless you have good recording equipment or at a low volume. Um, but uh, there, there is some videos on YouTube of uh, guys that have, uh, I don't know, I think there's some 15s and I think there is some 18s on there. And just showing the, the amount of uh, SPL that these put out, they, they'll, you know, I mean, for the time, uh, there are very, very few subs that were capable of doing what these were. Um, you know, back back then it was more um, number of drivers you could you could squeeze into a vehicle, um, or you know, well in in the upper classes, uh, in the lower classes it was all about creativity. Um, and and then, you know, and there's a lot of people in car audio and uh, well in home audio too, but um, I, I know a lot more about that than I do car audio um, that are just much more knowledgeable. But you know, when you get into you know this type of driver, you need to know what you're doing and you need to know all the ins and outs of the, um, you know, uh, speaker physics.